All right, good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. It's our last day of the school week, and we do have a quiz today. It's on Google Forms again. So there are a few things you need to know, just like your Google Classroom post says. We need to know how to classify a function as exponential growth or exponential decay. So, you know, identifying the difference between these two types of functions. We also need to know how to identify the initial amount and the rate of growth or decay. So, again, the place you're looking to identify growth or decay is in the parentheses here. You know, what's the number that's in the base of my exponent? Exponential functions, as we know, are those functions where you have an x in the exponent. And what we're looking for in order to classify them as growth or decay is the base. Is that going to be less than or greater than 1? So let's start with 1 through 4 here. So again, we're looking at the base of the exponent. Doesn't matter what's in front of that. It could be any number I want. And we're trying to identify, is it less than 1 or bigger than 1? Is it decay less than 1 or growth bigger than 1? So 0 0.5 is less than 1. So this would be exponential decay. 3 is going to be greater than 1. So that would be exponential growth and then again in three you know if you guys want to pause the video and try three and four obviously welcome to do that but three we're not worried about this number out front and four not worried about the number out front we're only looking at what's in the base of this exponent and this base here is smaller than 1. 4 is smaller than 7. So this would be exponential decay. And this fraction here is bigger than 1. 9 is bigger than 5. So this would be exponential growth. So that's the first thing we need to know for our quiz already sorted. And the last two things we need to know how to identify, the initial amount and the rate of growth or decay. So the initial amount is that number out front that we have been ignoring. So that's the, the amount out front that we've been ignoring so far. So for example, in number one, that initial amount A is just 22. And to find the rate of growth or the rate of decay, what we're going to do is we're going to take that stuff in parentheses, and we're always going to set that equal to the expression 1 plus R. So, in number one, if I say 0 0.8 or 0 0.8 equals 1 plus r, always set it equal to 1 plus r, and then we're going to solve for r. So, to get r by itself, I've got to get rid of this 1. And how do I get rid of a positive 1? Well, the opposite of positive 1 is negative 1. So I can subtract 1 on both sides. And the difference between 1 and 0 0.8 is 0 0.2. And do I have more negatives or more positives? Well, I have more negatives, so this would be a negative 0.2. And we'll always just take the positive value. It really doesn't matter. We're looking for the difference. 
between 1 and this number. So this, we're going to say, is a rate of 0 0.2 or 0.2. And the negative tells us that it's a rate of decay. But we could have we could have told you that just by looking at the number in the parentheses. It's less than 1. So we could have already told you that it's a rate of decay. So again, don't worry about the negative sign. Just take the absolute value of that number there, the positive value. All right, so A, initial amount, and number 2 is going to be 1,248. That's not too bad. Just look at the first number there. Or if it's not there, it would just be 1. And our rate, as always, we're going to take whatever's in parentheses and set that equal to 1 plus r. And if we look at the number in parentheses, this 1.2, it's bigger than 1. So we know that's got to be exponential growth. And now let's solve for r. Well, I want to get r by itself, so I need to get rid of this positive 1. And what's the opposite of positive 1? Well, that would just be negative 1. So I can subtract 1 on both sides. 1.2 minus 1 is just 0.2. And then on the right side, I'm left with just r. So this one is also 0 0.2. So my rate of growth is 0 0.2 here. And my initial amount is 1,248. I'd like you guys to pause the video, try 3 and 4 before your quiz. And, uh, and good luck on your quiz as always. Feel free to email me with any questions you might have, and uh, have a fantastic weekend. So number three, the initial amount, that number out front is one. And four, the initial amount is 18. And let's solve for R. So we know that, let's do an orange, 1 plus 0.57, we have to set that equal to 1 plus r. And if I want to get r by itself, I can subtract 1 from both sides. And I'm left with 0 0.57 equals r. And we'll do the same procedure on the right side. We'll say one point, sorry, one plus 0.92 equals one plus r. And as always, trying to solve for r, I want to get r by itself here, so I need to get rid of the one and the opposite of positive 1 is negative 1. Those reduce to 0, so I'm left with 